Alright, what's up guys, Rose and people, 17,000 feet below sea level. So, a couple of years ago, I made a video, pretty popular video, where I tried to make a layout that had a lot of click sync, and I ended up verifying it with my eyes closed, sort of. I verified it like this or something. This is that level. It's not very good. I mean, the click sync is, like, kind of there, but, like... See, like... In the beginning of the level, there's kind of some semblance of sync, like, like bum, 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 But the later parts of the song kind of just turn into, like, a metronome. Like, it doesn't actually go with, like, the, the melody of the song. It's just, like, the BPM, like, bum, 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 bum. Like that kind of thing. It's not like. So we're gonna do that today, but we're gonna hopefully do it a bit better. I was also just kind of worse at the game back then. So let's see if we can uh, make something that's that uh, that isn't awful. We're gonna appropriately call it Sync Layout Two, maybe I I, so it sounds real uh, formal. And the most important part, especially especially for uh, something like this, is uh, let's pick the song. What what song are we gonna use here? Um, I've also replicated the environment that I made the original level in. Uh, if you haven't heard, I changed my menu song to what my menu song was. Um, like four years ago when I made this video, because this video is actually going, this video is coming out on the four year anniversary of that sync layout video, which is why I wanted to make it, because I thought it'd be kind of a cool little thing. It's also my 20th birthday, so that's pretty cool. So I've got a lot of good songs in here now, but which one is good for sync? The decode song could be pretty good, you know? I like Race Around the World a lot, but I, I feel like I've used it in like, <laughs> like a couple, like too many videos recently, so let's try and get something, something fresh and new. Something cool and good. Hmm. Okay, I've made a level with this song before, but I don't think I've ever used it in a video. All right, let's use Outbreaker. Um, let's start it kind of close to the drop because I'm impatient. So, the beginning here is gonna be kind of just auto. So then, what I think I want to do here, we'll stay in a cube part for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a spider portal to get the click sync down because spiders, you know, they go up and down instantly. So it's easier to tell exactly what it is. So let's do like here and then I'll... That felt a little bit off. I think I was off on a couple of the clicks there. Hold on. If we're in a Q part, we're probably gonna want to have a jump here because that looks pretty good. And then we also click here. So maybe a blue orb, maybe that's possible to hit. Something like that maybe. Uh, and then we have another click here. Here, we will have you jump up like a platform, maybe? Or maybe, maybe, what if you like, maybe you jump over like a spike and then you click right onto like another orb? Oh god, okay, wait. Okay, yeah, no. This spike jump is a little too, uh, too difficult. What? What? Okay, did we make it? We did, okay, Jesus. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm trying to actually make this like, have gameplay that isn't, that's that's not boring and bad. But we'll make it through. Um, let's bring our spider portal back because I kind of forgot where the clicks were. Yep, so we got these two clicks. That's all fine and good. And it looks like we'll have another one here. Maybe a black orb? Right onto here, and then you'll jump. That's kind of a tight window, seeing as I won't be able to see, but I... It's fine. It's all right. It's fine. What's life without a little challenge? Maybe like another black orb? How does that work? Yeah, well, it looks like it works, but does it like actually? That looks a little close. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew that spike was uh, a little too close for comfort. Oh, wait, did I do it? Oh, I did. It's just that this is in the wrong place. We're, we're making pretty good progress already. I mean, come on, man. I did this with my eyes closed. I mean, what's what's that about? I wish I had someone else here to, like, test this on. I think this would be really funny if I was able to make a sync layout and uh, it syncs so well that someone else, not even good at the game, can, can beat it just with, like, the rhythm or whatever. That's the thing. We're really turning GD into an actual rhythm game here, you know? I know it's a pretty hotly debated topic on whether uh, whether GD is a, a rhythm game or not. Oh, wait, this blue orb needs to be like way over here. What the heck? Okay, wait, does that, does that work? Only one way to find out. Okay, it does work. 
No, I don't want to put a dash orb in. I, I feel like these should all be like taps, not uh, not dashes, <laughs> not holds. You know, I feel like that. I feel like putting in like a one single hold somewhere in there would make it a little too hard. I feel like that's kind of eh. Oh, it works! Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. We are we are really getting somewhere. Maybe we'll go into a different game mode here. Maybe like a UFO. What did we? What did I do? <sighs> I went to a spider part, then a UFO. So to really keep the exact uh, merit of the original level, we're gonna we're gonna do follow the same game motor. So we'll go into a spider part and then a UFO part. Okay, so we're gonna need to have another jump here. Well, not a jump. It's probably gonna be an orb. It's gonna be an orb. Wow, I suck. Okay, all right, go on. Bruh. All right, nerf time. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Oh, we did it! Yes! We are working. We are here. We are getting it. Honest to God, I think this level is already better than my original sink layout, honestly. That original level is kind of bad. Uh, ooh, let's throw some slopes in there. I don't think those were in my original level, like, literally at all. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know why I built these steps. These steps are irrelevant because we're going to be clicking to the music. <laughs> Whoops. I'm, I'm losing it, man. That works. I mean, it's... Again, it's a bit weird, but it works. And we'll jump right into the spider portal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see if this whole first cube part works. Oh my god, dude. I am the best. I am the best at video games. Okay, this is this is cool. This is good. You know it's even more cool and more good though? You subscribing if you're enjoying the video. All right, yep, that's all. All right, back to the video. What? They don't all have to be super long drawn out. This is going this is going well. We're going we're, we're we are rocking with it. All right, we'll put our UFO portal here cuz this is going to be between clicks, so hopefully it gives us a nice good transition. But um yeah, it looks like from here we've got an instant click, which is fine. So that'll put us here. That works. I was looking at the away at the wall, so that way you guys could tell that I wasn't cheating. I mean, cheating really only hurts me because I'm gonna have to verify this later, so that's fine. Go down here, go up here, go back down here. Okay, I thought that might work, but no, it does not. All right, so we got this situated. This should be good for the spider part. Let's really quick see if we can do the spider part now all at once. Nice, baby. All right, well, now we just got to make the uh, UFO gameplay, I suppose. So let's, uh, let's get into that. We're definitely going to be using a lot of uh, gravity portals to make life not awful. Huh? Oh, God. Okay. UFO part is where it's all falling, falling apart. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay. That time we actually hit the portal, so we can, we can make this. Oh, my webcam looks bad there we go it just got like a whole lot brighter in my room whoops okay well now we're good because the whole thing with this part is i'm not even really placing the portals to the music i'm just placing them to keep you away from the borders of the game mode really that works albeit kind of barely but barely is all we really need the ufo part in the original level looked pretty bad and this one's gonna look pretty bad too, because I can't really be bothered to, like, actually map out this. Especially when I'm not even gonna be looking at it. So we're just gonna put big saws as our, our spikes and hazards. Big saws, they make the world go round. I'm still gonna make the gameplay path pretty lenient, I think, to allow for some error given how weird the UFO game mode can be. Um, but we're just gonna outline the rough path that you generally wanna take. Um, but if you click like a little late or a little early, I don't wanna like insta-kill you. Cause I'm a forgiving guy. This should be good, I think. Probably, I hope. Oh wait, I totally like just abandon this first part this has like nothing in it okay let's see if that works i guess because <laughs> that's a bit weird okay oh god okay can i do it with my eyes open
Of course I can, of course I can. It's never hard with your eyes open. Oh wow, okay. Did not expect that. Well that works out quite nicely, I think. We're already at 25 seconds, which is kind of crazy. Um, so we've got that straightened out. I'm gonna revise some parts of this UFO. Just gonna nerf it just a tiny bit because there are some parts where uh, you get a little bit close. Um, but after that, yeah, I mean, we can just uh, just get right into this part. Okay, hold on. Turn off ignore damage. I wanna see if I can make this corridor work. That's a little bit off. This is actually coming along very nicely. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm rocking with this right now. All right, I think we are done with our layout. That is pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. All right, so I think what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna fix some, some of the secret ways that you can take, and then I'm gonna try and verify this thing. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, so I have gone through and I have I tried to fix out any secret ways that were possible. I'm sure that when I upload this, you guys will find every possible secret way that I missed. But for now, I think this is fine, and I think this should be hopefully good enough for us to try and verify. So I guess let's uh, get into that. You know, actually, one thing I'm going to do really quick, just to make this a little bit less boring... I know that the last uh, time I did this a bunch of years ago, it was just a boring blue the entire time. That's kind of that's kind of lame though. So I'm gonna add some uh, background colors real quick to hopefully make things a little bit more uh, lively. All right, got some cool colors here to liven things up a bit, and uh, I think it's uh, verification time now. So let's get this bread. I think. Okay, what's killing me here? What the heck? Oh, it's that spike. Okay. Oh no, that was so far. I'm gonna do this once with my eyes open, just to see. Okay, I see, all right. That's a pretty easy change. It's a nerf, but I don't really care. We're just gonna delete that. Uh, maybe move this portal back a little bit. I hope that doesn't mess with what we already had though. All right, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's go again. Oh my God, dude. Oh, it was that one block little, oh, that one block little space. Oh, that's irritating. Okay. Look, I didn't think it was that hard when I was actually building the level, especially because, you know, when I was doing it with my eyes open, the timing looked pretty easy, but, you know, things change when you can't see. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened there? Oh, dude, I couldn't, I can't tell what happened to me. Let's try a run with my eyes open again. Okay, that's what keeps happening. Okay, stop it. Why is that happening? Hmm. <laughs> that spike is like no you know what you know what? no i'm not i'm not nerfing it i don't die to it all the time it's like only once every so often so we're keeping it okay let's do a run through with the eyes open so i can see okay there are some clicks in there especially in the ufo part that kind of threw me off we'll cross that road when we come to it <laughs> dude Okay, that's the most irritating part about this, is that I can't, I can't see what's killing me. Like, I don't see what's killing me until, like, it's, it's too late. Like, by the time I'm, by the time I, I've, I've opened my eyes and, and died, like, I, I can't see anymore. Hold on, wait, okay, if I turn off auto retry, it's like a little better, but, I mean, it still isn't very helpful. Because the trail is the most useful, like, I need to see what went, what went wrong, but I can't really do that. Oh, well. Okay, that happened again. What's going on here, man? Okay, well, I didn't... Oh, I did miss it. Okay. Yeah, what the heck, bro? Okay, that, I guess, works. Man, I didn't realize that you hit it so late. Okay, I think we can do this now. We fixed up the spider part. Let's do this! Huh? Huh? What happened? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna rewatch that back, hold on. So I found out that in the spider part, I clicked too late and I got, I ran into this wall. So I moved it over, I moved the UFO portal over so it doesn't look stupid. Let's try again. <laughs> Bro, 
what? All right, I've got an idea. I'm gonna do a no clip accuracy run. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch it back and we're gonna see what went wrong. Well, on the upside, I didn't fall out of the world, so that's good. 97%? Oh my god, what happened? So I found out that a lot of the noclip deaths were actually in the ballpark because I got, like, misaligned. But the only thing that really killed me other than that was um, the UFO part, the first little bit. Um, but other than that, I, I honestly think that we're probably good. Let me see. Yeah, so the reason I got misaligned in the ballpark was because I didn't get put back down onto the main platform quick enough. So I clicked like right around here in midair when I should have already been on the ground, which is what messed me up. So let's see if this is a good fix for that. That works. That should, that should help. So I moved down the UFO saws. I fixed the issue at the ball part. The spider part is actually still really scary. I actually click really late in it most of the time, um, but it works. I mean, I don't, I didn't really die there. So let's just give it another shot, I guess. <laughs> Wait, I still have no clip on, whoops. Wait, what? What? 80%? What happened? No. What? You're kidding. I was literally starting to get nervous because I knew that I was in the UFO part. What happened to me? What? I just missed the green orb like completely. What? How? How does that even happen? What? Oh, wait. I think the click is around here. Maybe that's the problem? Okay, I think that was the issue. Oh, man, 80% dude. Okay. All right, well, I think we got it this time. I think we fixed the issues. Let's do this. Next time. Oh my god! No no clip, right? Green chain indicator! Let's go, baby! Easy! So easy! Not even close, dude. Oh my god. What a dub. You know what I'm gonna do now? Just to flex? Just to show how awesome I am? Watch this! All right, well, you know what? It was pretty close. That would have been really cool if I did it first try. <laughs> oh man, that's so close too, bro. Oh man, I was just a little bit late. I do kind of want to verify this too though, because <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Woo! Invisible sync layout too? Invisible? Let's go, baby. Come on! Woo! That is, that is good stuff, bro. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that. I hope the level is a bit better than the first one that I did. <laughs> um, and as with the last one, last time I actually forgot to upload it when I posted the video, not this time. The level IDs for the visible and invisible version will both be in the description. Technically, they're the same difficulty, really. And uh, yeah, special thanks to all the channel members, including Village and Alphalanius. Man, all of your guys' layouts probably sync perfectly to whatever song you're building it with. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.